So the human body is designed to heal itself. So then the million dollar question is, why are so many people sick? I believe that there's only one thing that has the ability to heal us, and that is the body itself. So the human body has an inbuilt ability to heal itself. Well, if that is true, why are so many people sick? Because the people sick, they're very, they're very sick. I was shown yesterday that a huge big hospital has just been built on the island of um, Bermuda. Do you think that'll fix everything? No, no, it actually doesn't. And I know that every doctor and every nurse in that hospital loves these meetings. Because if everyone adhered to the principles you're learning here this week, less people will have to go to that hospital. Is that right? And we can actually keep that hospital for people who are in accidents and break their legs and half chop their arms off and etc, etc, etc. There is a place for surgery. There is a place for medicine. But really, most people go, should go through their whole life never having a medicine or ever even having to go there. Right? And who wants to go there? <laughs> no, no, no. Hurts, doesn't it? Hurts when you get sick. It hurts when you, you break something. I'd like to look at the two main theories for the cause of disease in medicine today. I'd like to look at those two theories and I'd like to assess those theories and I'd like to have a look at their true role in the running of the human body, the working of the human body, the healing of the human body. Because to know how the human body heals, we need to know something about how it works. Is that right? <laughs> That's right. And to know how it works, we've got to go to the CBD. Do you know where the central business district of the human body is? The inside workings of the cell. Do you know that Darwin's theory rested on what would happen when they found out about the inside workings of the cell. And we know about the inside workings of the cell. And you know the inside workings of the cell disprove Darwin's theory. In fact, it was 1953, it made headlines in the newspaper. The headlines in the newspaper stated that the secret of life had been discovered. You see, two scientists, Watson and Crookes, have been able to unravel the DNA. What's the DNA? The DNA is the genetic code that is inside the nucleus of every cell in the body, except the red blood cell. You see, the blood is the carrier of nutrients to the CBD. It's the carrier of oxygen to the CBD. It's the carrier of water to the CBD. It's the carrier way of waste from the CBD. And it's the bone marrow that makes your red blood cells. Now, every other cell has the ability to remake itself. And it remakes itself according to the pattern or the formula that's inside that DNA. And the reason why the headline said secret of life had been discovered, because they thought when they understood the DNA, then they would know the cause of disease, and then they'd be able to heal all diseases. That's 64 years ago. Have we healed all diseases? Are we any closer? Oh, I'd like to suggest that we're no closer, especially when the hospitals are getting bigger. Yeah. So something else arose when Watson and Crooks had been able to unravel the DNA. You see, that DNA, they were able to pull out. And I'm sure we've all seen pictures of it. 23 chromosomes from our mother, 23 chromosomes from our father. A lot of information in this DNA. In fact, one writer said that if you put all the information on that DNA and put it into paperback books and stack them up on top of each other, they'd go to the moon and back quite a few times. I, I can hardly get my mind around that one. <laughs> all curled up in the DNA. Incredible. In Psalm 139, the psalmist says, I will praise you for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul knoweth right well. And that psalmist know what I've just told you.